half of your life. Hi, I'm Debbie Weiss, and I am back to help you navigate the cesspool that is middle age dating. And today I have a question for you about the man you might be dating. Does he act like an adult? You know, I've been reading a lot from women who are really sick of lazy men. And at our age, middle age, I see a lot of guys who are lazy kind of as returning to adolescence, like they're trying to go back to their high school days. But it's funny because they act maybe like the kids in you know, fast times at Ridgemont High. But actually, when I was in high school, boys were really well behaved. They'd call you on the phone and they'd sound shy. You know, you'd pick up and they'd say, oh, hi, is Debbie there? And you'd say, this is Debbie, and they'd sound kind of shocked. But there'd usually be a date. It was planned. I remember being shocked when a boy I didn't know well asked me out for a first date that was Neil Young in person with a crazy horse back then and a date at a, at a, at a restaurant called The Refractory, which was sort of like probably an odd choice for a date, but I lived in the suburbs. So it was, it was kind of like a modern day monastery, but with, with lamb and mint jelly. But the point is it was a really beautifully planned date. And you know, the boys would pick you up and they'd be wearing maybe corduroy pants that you rarely saw them wear at school. And sometimes a dorky sweater that they probably never wore to school, but their moms bought for them. But that is not the world today. The other week I had lunch at a really beautiful restaurant uh, here where I live and the women, you know, and there were several young couples and the women were dressed nicely, but I saw two, maybe three guys and they were wearing t-shirts and uh, shorts, you know, Bermuda short type things, kind of sloppy shorts and flip flops, no shoes, no service. Um, and it was kind of odd. I mean, these were really nice restaurants and, you know, seeing a guy with a Mr. Zog's sex wax t-shirt is not a good look. You don't need this. It's kind of funny. In fact, um, some of the guys I even saw at the bar there were wearing sort of those cut off uh, sweatpants that you wear to the gym and you don't really want to see anywhere else and maybe sort of a tank top. And OK, I'll be honest, one of those was actually uh, one of the realtors I dealt with and this made me deeply concerned. But that's kind of not good, right? Now that's a lazy look. And I also see this laziness in men when it comes to planning dates. This is again where you get the Netflix and chillax crowd. You don't, know, what you're offered are walks and coffee. Uh, I read a lot of stuff on Medium and a lot of the women writers are saying, we are sick of being offered only walks and coffee. There's no planning. And there's plenty of free stuff to do. You know, there are yoga classes, there are plant and book sales. Um, you know, there's, for example, you know, once a month, my library here has a wonderful book sale and you could do that with a beautiful walk downtown and it doesn't take money and it doesn't take a lot of planning, but people don't do this. The other area where I see immaturity are a lot of grown up men, often living in somebody else's basement who blame other people for their problems. You know, this is the guy whose life is a disaster because his ex-wife screwed him over. We can guess that's not true. Uh, his work, work sucks, it didn't turn out, and he has no agency for his choices. And in general, beware of anybody, male or female, who blame other people for their bad life choices. Where so, everything is somebody else's fault, you know you're in trouble. And I dated a few of these lazy guys. You know, they looked pretty sloppy. Maybe we went out a couple times and this all then devolved into just come on over. When are you gonna be in my neighborhood? Again, laziness, and I backed off. So my point is you deserve someone who tries and the way they plan dates and the way they put their clothing together is indicative of if they care. And I'm not talking about fashion plates. I'm talking about making an effort. As usual, I'll return to the folks I know who are in my hiking groups. You know, we all hike and we look however we look, right? We've got the, the, the shorts, the, the messy look. But a woman in my hiking group hosted a party and I noticed all the men came and they were wearing nice corduroy pants. It looks like they probably didn't wear much or dress slacks, probably hadn't worn since the pandemic started. And honestly, kind of dorky sweaters that I'm guessing they didn't wear much. But the point is, this woman was good enough to host a party at her home and people dressed accordingly.
So this is my point. If he cares, he will try to be, if not an adult, at least a charming boy, which means manners, planning dates, and for God's sakes, putting on some pants. This is Debbie Weiss, and I hope I helped you navigate the cesspool that is middle-aged dating. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.